This is a traditional set of 50 tungsten fairlights, lights, which I'm converting to LED. Now, I've already changed uh, one of the lights to an LED, but obviously that you can't just stick LEDs in a string of lights, it won't work. You have to limit the current, um, otherwise the um, LEDs would get far too much current pushed through them. So I've built this little power supply in line, a wee bit messy, a wee bit chunky, but that's just because um, I've added a filtering capacitor which makes it a bit bigger. And this is a, a four resistors, um, a bridge rectifier and a capacitor, an electrolytic capacitor, and I'll show you the schematic for this. Here we go, very simple. Uh, uh, you've seen this type of circuit schematic before in other videos. Two 40 volt mains in, two 10k resistors, um, the bridge rectifier, the optional smoothing capacitor, um, and the two 10k output resistors to the LEDs. And the number of LEDs you can drive, 50 is pushing it. I think it could probably go to about 60 in the UK before you start, the current starts going a wee bit low. Because um, as the voltage across the LEDs increases, the differential between that and the, the mains voltage in gets to the point that the current progressively drops unless you were to change the value of the resistors. In America, on 110 volts, you'd probably have to stick to 20 or 30 LEDs, probably around about 20, I'm guessing. But anyway, we have 240 volts, well, 230 volts, if you consider that the European standardization. But um, that allows us to run quite a lot of LEDs in series. So let's take a look at the circuit, um, the actual module that I've built. Here it is. Um, I've used the electrolytic in this one, which basically you've got the main supply coming in through two resistors soldered onto the um, the bridge rectifier. Um, do I have a bridge rectifier here? Yes, I do. The bridge rectifier has four leads. Basically, there's a resistor, 10k resistor soldered on each lead. And you've got the mains going in via two of those 10k resistors. And then the after it's been rectified, across the positive and negative of the rectifier, you've got the capacitor. So I just sat on the other side of the rectifier. And then, of course, the, you've got uh, two more resistors going out to LEDs. The choice of value for the capacitor was purely because that's what was inside the compact fluorescent lamp ballast that I took it out of. So let's um, show you this lit and how to um, modify it. Now, the red LED has lit, but none of the other lights have lit. And the reason for that is currents being limited to the whole circuit. and the LED only gets a few milliamps and it's just not enough to light these lamps. So I'm going to pull this one out. And I'm going to pull the lamp out of the little holder. Some of these are glued in, not, not in this particular set, but some of the sets you get, they are glued in. And then I'm going to take an LED and I'm going to thread it in where the lamp was and fold the leads over the back and then crop them short. Now, you have to crop them quite, uh, you, you can't leave them sticking up too far. If you leave them sticking up beyond the main body of the the, the, uh, the lamp holder, um, it makes it quite difficult to get into the holder and it also tends to jam in the holder. So you have to crop it just short of this little ledge. So I'm doing that now. And you also have to note when you've um, put your rectifier and uh, the current limiter in line, you've got to note the positive side of the circuit um, because all the LED positives are going to have to point in that direction throughout the whole string. And if you get them in the wrong way around, it probably will damage the LED because um, of the higher voltage across it when it's, um, um, when it's in, in the wrong polarity. And uh, yeah, because it will be breaking the, the circuit. Usually it will just um, kind of bypass the rest of the LEDs of light, but that one won't, but it's not guaranteed to be good for the LED. So I've put that in, noting that the positive uh, is um, the the thin electrode in here, not the anvil with the LED in it. And I'm pushing that in, and there it is lit. And hopefully there won't be, yeah, there's no flicker at all with that capacitor, which is nice. Um, I can't leave this running with just two LEDs in it for too long because it means that these are effectively a dead short as far as the circuit's concerned, so the resistors will be dissipating a bit more heat. But that kind of shows you how you just work your way around, pull out the next one, put an LED in, plug it back in, and just work your way around until you've done the whole set. 
And I'll show you another set I've done. So I'll unplug those. Another nice thing about the capacitor is when you unplug it, the LEDs fade away instead of just going out instantly. So this set's slightly different. I've not got the capacitor in it. So it's just very, it's a much smaller. It's got the rectifier and the four resistors and that's it. And that means there's a slight flicker, which will probably show up in the camera. But you can see in the case of these lights, I've just used any junk LEDs I had all around the, my workshop, just any colours I could find. I deliberately, instead of just using one shade of blue, I've used multiple shades of blue. I don't know if it will show up on camera, but these are two different shades. There's uh, deep blues, there's pinks, there's purples. Uh, bright green, there's um, cold green, cyans, just so many colours. Um, and most of these LEDs, I've cracked the ice. You, I'll, I've got another video showing that, where you basically you get a pair of snips and you crack the tip off the LED and it makes it viewable over a wide angle. So it makes for a very interesting set of lights. Um, you have to use good bright LEDs because the current isn't terribly high and if you use just indicator LEDs, they wouldn't be that bright. But in the case of just most of the modern LEDs are high brightness and um, it just looks fantastic at night. And here's the thing, this is one of the original lamps and it's rated about just over half a watt. This whole string, all 50 LEDs, now takes the equivalent power of one lamp. So um, you can just leave them on 24-7 if you wish. Yep, that, I, I really uh, quite enjoy this. It's very therapeutic uh, doing these sets of lights. Another set that I've started is actually for my brother, so he, I'm waiting for him to come across and pick the uh, colours of the LEDs. Here's another thing, you can get little caps fr robbed from other sets of um, battery-operated strings, and just by popping them on over an LED, it just um, lets you put decorative caps on them as well. It's nice. I like it.